Well, hello, folks. Don't worry, this is not going to be an, just another boring video of me driving the boat. Um, but actually, it is a learning thing because I've had a lot of questions on as to what these devices are up here. So I'm going to go over it real quickly and then show you how they work. Um, on this boat, we're equipped with twin inboard engines. V drives actually, but I'll, that's a subject for another day. But they're essentially inboard uh, powered boat. So we got two big V8 engines, in this case 7.4 liter or 454 cubic inch GM block engines. And the way they transfer the, the power to the water is through shafts that go through the bottom of the boat and propellers on the end. As opposed to an inboard outboard powered boat where the engines will be farther aft and they'll be uh, IOs bolted to the back. And I'll try to find a picture of that so you know what I'm talking about. But I have found since our last boat was equipped with inboard power engines as well, the same, same models as this boat as a matter of fact, that it's a lot easier to maneuver just using the shifters and the throttle as opposed to the steering wheel. If you have an inboard power boat, you really shouldn't try to dock using the steering wheel. 90% of the time you can accomplish what you need to do with the shifters and the throttles. The way that this works is these are the throttles on this side, one for the port engine, one for the starboard engine, and the same deal going on over here. These are the actual throttles that will increase or decrease engine speed. And again, you have one for the port engine, one for the starboard engine. So right now, we're fully engaged in the forward gear as we are moving forward. And I got just a little bit of gas. We're going just, just a little bit over uh, idle speed right now as we are in the channel. Um, so what one would want to do to help steer the boat, because you're asking yourself, oh, how would I steer the boat just using the shift gear? Very simple. If the boat, for example, is sitting motionless and you want to go forward, of course, you engage both drives, or sorry, both, both transmission, both, both props. And if you wanted to turn right, for example, you would let off on the starboard, or sorry, let off on the port shifter, just keep the starboard engaged and maybe give a little bit of throttle and as you can imagine that would walk the boat to the right. Conversely if you wanted the boat to come around to the left again you would put the starboard engine in neutral, port engine in forward and that would thrust the boat around that way. And again if you need to come around a little bit quicker because the wind or it's a sharper turn you would just apply throttle to that engine that is engaged. Um, now, if you want to do reverse, it's the same deal. You know, straight back is both engines engaging to reverse. Now, if you wanted to bring the bow of the boat around that way, you just keep the port in neutral, boom, star starboard in reverse. And again, it would pull the boat around like that. You'll see when I get to the gas dock, I gotta hit the gas dock to get another pump out, of course. So, I'm gonna show you how I maneuver it that way and bring the boat around and nuzzle it right up to the dock. And you will see how easy it is and how beneficial it is to have an uh, inboard powered boat. For those of you who have ever driven an inboard outboard and then gone over to a straight inboard or even an outboard engine powered at a boat and then gone right over to a straight inboard, um, I'm sure you would agree with me that they are a preferential way to maneuver a boat. So once we get to the gas dock, I can show you what I can do. Hopefully it'll move me. Thank you, Webby.
Looks like the Chris is leaving. Taking me back to that cleat there? Yeah. Thank you. for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos coming out and don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter and instagram daily updates there and always lively conversation on facebook so you don't want to miss it and you can also follow us at boatsbeachesandbars.com where you're going to find even more links to all sorts of neat things including our online store and you'll find all the links to everything mentioned up here, down there, in the description. So you'll have no excuse not to follow along. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.